Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hide specific updated or drivers from installing on your Windows computer. So if you're going through the traditional channels of opening up the Windows update screen and if you're unable to block updates, which is basically how Microsoft has set up Windows 10, this tutorial is going to show you guys how to prevent specific updates from going through. I believe I made a tutorial about this about, I would say about four years ago at this point, so I wanted to go ahead and make another video about it because I feel like there's still a lot of confusion about it and people do not necessarily realize that you actually can block certain updates from installing. So I wanted to go ahead and jump into it and let's go ahead and start by opening up a web browser. I'm going to have a link in the description of my video guys, I want you just to go copy from my description. Go up to the URL bar up at the top of your screen and you just want to go ahead and download it. So this is going to be a Microsoft Fix-It utility of sorts. It's not quite a Fix-It utility but it shares a lot of similarities with it. It should be a cap file when it's done downloading. Minimize the web browser. Here take troubleshoot and help prevent computer problems. Left click on Next. Again this is a tool provided from Microsoft. It's coming right from Microsoft's website here. So just wait for it to go ahead and quote unquote detect the problems. Now I should say show or hide updates. So if you want to hide certain updates, you want to just select hide update, Windows will not install hidden updates. And it should be a list of any pending updates that are looking to be installed here. You just would go ahead and select whatever updates you want to hide and then left click on next. And trust me, by no means this is a perfect solution. It would be much nicer and cleaner if it was actually built into Windows. But if you actually keep this file handy on your desktop or somewhere, you should be able to hide and show files. So you can see it's been fixed. So if you ran the utility again and you selected the second option to show hidden updates, you'd have the option to unhide this update. So pretty straightforward process here, guys. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.